Hi, I'm Jody. Over the next nine weeks, Kingsford and RecTech are going to show you the best tips, tricks, and recipes to help you knock your home gating out of the park. Don't forget, subscribe to watch. What's up, America? It's a little after 12 on a Monday. It's time to get that home gating series kicked back up into high gear with my good friend who needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. The Sultan of Smoke, the father of flavor, the guru of grilling, number nine on the field, but number one in our hearts, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. Cause it's home gating, it's home gating, home gating. We're home gating today. I just, I think I just made a, I just think I did our song. <laughs> Are you ready, John? I'm ready, buddy. Are you ready? You gotta flick the wrists. Got to flick the wrist. We're celebrating uh, the U.S. Open at Winged Foot this weekend. Heck, yeah, Winged Foot, very <laughs> prestigious course. Very prestigious. You've played if, there before uh, a couple times, right, Jerry? I, I've been asked to play there a couple times. I hacked it up, you know, pretty <laughs> good. Uh, definitely finished about a, about a five over par, I would say. Give, give or take, give or take, you know, because I'm a, a hell of a golfer, if y'all didn't know that. Um, but, yeah, home gating. It's a new thing, you know. <sighs> Should we go out? Should we not go out? Oh, we right. can't go to the stadiums? You're not letting us go to the stadiums? Right. What? So what are we doing? We're home gate. We're home gate. That's right. We're doing easy meals at the house so you can kick off that home gating season. There's a lot of sports going on right now. Yeah. I'm talking, if you're a sports fan, you're getting your fix. You are. No, you got basketball. Mm -hmm. You got baseball, mm -hmm. NFL. That's right. Fantasy football mm -hmm. just kicked off. Kicked it off. Shout out to my boy uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Got me 40 points last yeah, night. Aaron what? Rodgers. Um, hockey, NBA, wrestling, golf. Yeah. I mean, I'm missing some. I feel NASCAR. Soccer. soccer. Yeah, soccer. I mean, cheese and crackers. If you're a sports fan, now is the time to be alive. Mm -hmm. 2020. We could still make it the best year ever. We're going to. Um, but we're going to try to keep this real quick, okay. real simple, keep it sports-themed. We're going to try to stay to the 10 minutes that we're restricted to stay to. You know, we're going to try to keep it within a quarter, you know, or a, a period, uh, uh, or another time, you know, like an inning. We're going to try to keep it in an inning, you know, uh, try to keep it uh, a quick 18 if you would. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Make sure you follow RecTech as well as Kingsford on YouTube because we've got a lot of awesome stuff coming up there too. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that red rectangle. Of course, you got to hit the red rectangle. But I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, and we're going to kick it off right now. We're going to do Stromboli, and we're also going to do Sausage Pinwheels. Stromboli, you know, because we're up in New York. There you go. Uh, for the U.S. Open. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, Mamaronic, New York. Ooh. Beautiful winged foot. Yeah. Beautiful. Again, I got to play Mamaronic, Mamaronic, New York. I got my copywriter behind us making sure that we're saying that right because, again, I did a lot of research. Couldn't find a lot of folks pronouncing the, the town that the U.S. Open was in. I That's right. I found that very strange. Um, but, again, we're going to keep it to 10 minutes after, my, after I ramble on. We're going to do Stromboli, and we're going to do Sausage Pinwheels. It's going to be awesome. Both of these would be great. Home gating recipes at home. Okay, guys, you can also find these at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Uh, and make sure you follow me on all social media. But we're going get, to get this started. I've got an RT700 here. I've got an RT590 right here. They're both burning. That delicious signature Kingsford pellet available at most retailers. Yeah, love that the pellet. Got some good flavor They've out of that, They've got some man. great good flavor. flavor. We kill it all right, those. but I'm going to do sausage pinwheels and stromboli. Um, I think I've got everything ready for a success, successful cook, John. Let's go, what buddy. What do you say? Do you think I'm missing anything? No, you look strong. You look fit. All right. You look well rested and prepared. Yep, and we'll ex and we'll talk more uh, during other shows. But we yes. got to keep this to ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. Um, I guess count me now. Five, four, nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six. All right. Five, four, three, two. What? All right, the first thing you got to do, ladies and gentlemen, we got us some delicious dough. We got this pre-made dough. Shout out to our local grocery store for hooking it up. 
with the pre-made dough. We got this in the bakery section. I'm just going to get myself a nice, easy working area right here. I'm trying to keep it to where I'm not making a mess in the kitchen. So I've got my delicious dough here. Okay, the one thing that we want to do is we want to toss this out just a little bit. And then I like to use the weight of the dough to actually stretch it out. Okay, and this is just pre-made pizza dough. Where'd you get the dough at, Jody? We got it at our local grocery store in the deli section. They sell it. You can also pick it up at local pizza parlors, you know, your local pizza place. Uh, shout out to a, a couple local ones here that you can pick them up at. But again, I'm just letting the weight of that dough stretch it out. If you want to be a pizza pie maker oh, and toss it, baby, okay. you can toss it all you want. Okay. Take it out of hand. Okay. Um, but just stretch it out. You just don't want any holes, okay? Stretch it out as far as you can. And we're just going to try to fill this pan. And we get a little bit of that flour on there. Got my rolling pin here. I'm just going to roll it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You guys, I didn't do, didn't do anything complicated there. Everybody can do this at home. I promise you it's going to taste absolutely delicious. Don't give up on me. We're going to try to keep it in 10 minutes. Okay. All right. I got our delicious base right here, okay, everybody? And I'm gonna do a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O. you gotta get some if you're doing any kind of Italian. The next thing that's gonna go on is our sauce. We got some pre-made marinara sauce. You can most definitely smoke some tomatoes mm -hmm. uh, in an RT-700, RT-590, along with a, uh, some other things and, get, and make your own sauce, right, John? Yeah, for sure. I love smoking tomatoes to make my own sauce. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that mozzarella cheese. Anything Italian, you gotta have mozzarella. What are you talking about? Get it in your life. Little bit of red pepper flakes. I've got some... Um, minced garlic here as well now we're going to do our meats okay we're going to do some ham easy peasy lemon squeezy don't overthink it do a little bit of salami we got this uh meat from the deli counter they sliced it up for us sweet easy peasy lemon squeezy got a little bit jody how warm, was that, how warm was that dough when you started working with it how warm yeah like was it cold how yeah absolutely so cold dough is going to be a lot firmer to work with we let that just sit out a little bit in my glass bowl i put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there just to keep it from sticking easy peasy lemon squeezy it was probably out 10 15 minutes okay sweet um, but if it's cold you can still work with it as well pepperoni and then we're going to top it off with some delicious provolone cheese here. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Why not? Let's add some banana peppers. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about the banana peppers. Treat yourself. John, do you like banana peppers? I Guys, love banana peppers. what about peppers. you? Do you like banana peppers in your Italian dishes? All right, easy peasy. Now, here comes the fun part. We're just going to wrap this bad boy up, okay? Um, I like to kind of tuck, tap and tuck. Tap, tap, tap. That way it kind of stays together a little bit there. Yeah, I'm a tap, fan tap, of tap. the tap, tuck method myself, Jody. Okay. And then we'll also, you guys seeing this? You're in here? And then we're just going to tuck it back over the top as well. Yeah. Now, I like to press it in to the dough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Jordan, time! 6.25. I got left? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, good. I feel good about it. I feel good about it. You're doing good. You're doing good, buddy. All right, cool. And, uh... We'll score it right in the middle. We're going to let all that steam come out. That's okay. It's going to breathe. It's going to meld. It's going to talk to each other. They're all just going to flavorize that bad boy. We'll also sprinkle some of this delicious Rectech Colden's Freaking Greek Rub on top. Just get a little bit extra flavor. And Never again, today hurt. we're burning the Kingsford <laughs> Signature Pellets. And we're going to put these in the RT590. Got it set at 425 degrees. That's going to take uh, about 40 minutes, okay? All right, now we're going to do the sausage pinwheels really quick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I've got the RT700 set at 405 degrees. I got a cast iron skillet in there heating up with it. I got some delicious sausage right here, okay? You can get some spicy sausage. You can get some sage sausage. You can get, uh, John, what's your favorite type of sausage? Uh, I just like old pork sausage, regular spicy right. pork sausage. All right, that so we got some sausage. spicy pork sausage. Oh, Lord. And we're just going to throw it in here. We're going to take little pinches, and we're going to throw it in our cast iron skillet, and we're going to cook that stuff off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, we let this heat up with the grill. It's at about 405 degrees. And the reason why I'm pinching it 
uh, is because uh, I feel like it's a little bit easier to separate this way instead of when it starts to, to cook um, and be little nuggets. What about nuggets. you, John? I uh, do the exact same kind thing like you're doing, and that way it's easier to break up once you get it in the pan and it starts to cook absolutely, up. I, I totally absolutely. agree. Absolutely. And by the power of television, I've already got some cooked up for us. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, huh? Am I right? Yeah. We've got our, and again, this was a pound of sausage. Okay. We got ourselves an eight ounce bar of delicious cream cheese, okay? And we're just gonna mix that in, breaking it up ever so slightly. Jody, I just wanna remind everybody that Kingsford Signature Blend is an awesome blend of cherry, hickory, and maple. Delicious. Woods. And it's blended together perfectly to give you a good amount of smoke, BTUs, uh, AKA heat uh, coming out of that bad boy. So we're gonna mix this all together, throw a little bit of that Colden's freaking Greek in there. That's absolutely delicious. But shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. Make sure you follow Kingsford and Rectex YouTube channels for lots, lots of amazing content coming out here soon, I promise you. 3.30 left, Jody. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't lie to y'all. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're gonna take this. Grands, crescent rolls, open them up. Why? Because that's how you get, that's where you got to start at. <laughs> that's where you got to start at the beginning. Duh. I feel kind of pressured. Yes. feel kind of pressured. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to get this grands out. Now, this uh, mixture that we've got here, that one pound with um, one block of cream cheese. Block That's of cream eight, cheese. That was eight ounces of cream cheese. Thank I'm you so sure. much, John. We'll mm -hmm. give you two of these bad boys, well, one can or two of these bad boys here. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to make them whole again. Pinch together, pinch together, pinch together. Make sure you don't pinch the paper in there with it. We got our fork and just go over that right there. That'll kind of help form it back together. I know this looks ugly, but I got three minutes, y'all. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to pour our mixture in here. Okay. You can go long ways. You can go uh, fat ways. You can go skinny ways. I always go uh, skinny ways. Okay? And then you're going to use the parchment paper here to roll it up. Okay? Oh, look at that handy trick. Right? If I can get it to do right. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your roll in the freezer and you're going to let it harden up. That way it's easy to slice. Two minute warning, Jody. Oh, Two oh, minute warning. Oh, good thing I got my Rectech Icer cooler here. Uh, keeping my already cold log here. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. But shout out to everybody watching us. We're just going to slice these up. Make sure you follow us on all social media. I'm Barbecue Dad Jody on everything. Make sure you follow Rectech and Kingsford on all social media for lots of amazing content. John Pinnell, Chef John Pinnell, Chef Greg Muller. All right, and then, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're going to get our pan out, and we're just going to put these bad boys on our pan. One oh. minute. Oh, gosh. If I didn't know that I had already have won, I'd be freaking out right I now. I know. And I'm a killing. winner. I know I'm a You're winner. You're killing it right now, buddy. All right, instead of 425, we're going to do 325 degrees for these bad boys. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to put it in this grill. Oh, yeah. Because I got the finished product right here for y'all. Look at these sausage pinwheels. I actually used cupcake pan for those. This beautiful looking stromboli here. Let me clean my knife really quick, make everything sanitary. Because you got to make sure you're, you're being sanitary, uh, especially when you're cooking for your family, your friends. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. It's not, you know. That's what I'm talking about. It looks delicious. Everybody seconds. on here is going huh? wild, Jody. Are they going crazy? They are right. going wild it's saying this, uh, you're killing it. And stuck. Oh, yeah. There we go. Shout out to uh, Kingsford for powering this segment. Guys, look out for it on YouTube. We are on the Rec Tech Facebook page right now, going Four, live. Three, two, one. Bang. Oh, yeah. And these 
sausage pinwheels. These are a fan favorite at my house. I'm telling you, we like to bring these when we're going over celebrating football. Again, we're going to watch the the uh, U.S. Open at my house this weekend, John. Are you going to uh, be available? Yeah. Uh, is that an invite? Uh, that's an open invite, Oh, sir. buddy. I invite Let's everybody to come over to my house. We're going to be burning some delicious Kingsford pellets on them awesome Rectex. I've got a new deck built. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Jody, did you watch any of the football? I, bro, bro, I was into the football. Thank goodness we got uh, football back. You know, I'm a huge baseball guy, but uh, I love fantasy football. I just love uh, the camaraderie with all the, the guys getting together. Um, I'm totally into uh, Hard Knocks on HBO. Right. Yeah, um, great show. Yeah, it gets you into those teams. It, yeah. it gets you vested for uh, people in fantasy football that you shouldn't be getting vested in. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, I like this guy's story. Uh, but check it out. Get on in here, shirt. We got delicious sausage pinwheels, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, look out for this uh, recipe at Rectech dot com forward slash lunch break man look at that john you want a you want a little lovely bite of this stuff? yeah you know i do i got you my know i do knife here again some nice dip you know some bring back that marinara oh, yeah, it would go great with this that uh well here i got one that got busted okay i, I like that it. yeah yeah let's do that one all right can we John, maybe get a little board sauce oh get you a little italian board sauce going on i wish we sauce? had some throw a little bit of Throw a little bit of garlic in there. Okay. Why not? Yeah. You know, make it a little spicy. Yes. That's what I'm talking there about. There we go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Cheers this only to took you. about 15 minutes. That was easy peasy. Woo. It's nice and warm out here. Uh-huh. Mm. 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 Oh, man. And now it's nice and warm in my belly. Mm-hmm. Man, it's delicious. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Easy. It tastes delicious. Um, mm. I don't know. Kind of almost maybe good for you. Cheese it's and meat. Definitely good for you if you're home gate. Mm -hmm. This is a win. Mm. I'm gonna try this pill wheel. Pull a board right. on that. Right. But thank you guys so much oh, for tuning well. in. Oh god. Well. Make sure you hit that share button. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you hit that YouTube subscribe button as well. And set your notifications on your phone. That way you know when we go live, because mm. we'll be going down. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be going live all the time, right, John? Mm -hmm. All the time. We Every went live Thursday. Saturday. You went live Saturday? Yeah. It we were at uh, Merle's Inlet. Very cool. With uh, Merle's Inlet um, Boat and Fishing. They, were, they hooked us up. We had a great time, Jody. Shout out. Gave him a 340. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. That's I awesome. made him throw his old grills in the in the water, though. That's awesome. It was a Weber and a Green Mountain. Uh, but thank you, Kingsford. We used the Kingsford Signature Pellets today to cook both of these dishes. And again, the best grill deserves the best fuel. So make sure that you subscribe to Kingsford and Rectech's YouTube channel for much more amazing content. Check out Rectech.com and Kingsford.com uh, for more amazing products. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you at the Rectech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do.